are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing well. I have been currently sorting through a bunch of my Garbage Pail collection, which, if you don't know what Garbage Pail kids are, it is the punniest, a lot of times grossest, pretty funny little card collecting stickers. I have a few on the front of this. I have a few on the front of this and the back of this little binder that I keep them in. I I got this. This right here. I figured we'd do an unboxing. Have I I've done an unboxing. I've done a birch box unboxing. I basically already knew at least one of the products that was coming in that. But what we have here today is a lot of plastic. Six hours later. We have a box of nine, 1990s themes. Garbage Pail Kids, I hope. If that makes any sense. But it looks like this is packaged. Yes. Yes, here it is. These cutie patooties right here. I am excited. It comes with five packs. Three exclusive Bathroom Buddy stickers, which... I don't know what that means. I started collecting these in 2012 with these magnets right here. I just kind of went to Walmart and found a pack of them in the card area. I was looking for, what are they called? Magic the Gathering cards. I happened upon a set of the magnets with gummies and I was like, I'm hungry and I remember these, but Look at that. They have a bunch of like different things on the back of them. This is one of the puzzle sets. I collected the whole thing of that. Super cool to me, you know. I think it's super cool. And then just here are some of my favorite ones, right? So we have uh, Tricky Tracy, Halloween Wendy. That's that card puzzle that's on this side. I really enjoy the art themed ones. Oh yeah, this was one of the coolest finds I found. I think it's Gloomy Jean or something, what is it? Gloomy Gus. And it is signed by the artist right there. And then this one's Glow in the Dark. They just, they have a bunch of cool stuff, you know? But yeah, I would like to try and do a video unboxing these. So this is the front, this is the back, just the same thing but horizontal landscaping, and the tops makes these, and their packaging is pretty cool, they've got official tops wrapping paper where it says like tops on it right there and all over it. So that way you know you're getting a genuine product. Okay. So yeah. I'm very interested in what these Bathroom Buddy stickers look like. Or not really. They do a lot of poop stuff. Which is super gross to me. I usually don't enjoy those. But we have eight. I believe packs to open. If I could ever get to them, goodness gracious. Oh, right on top we have the bathroom buddies. I know this because it says it. And y'all saw the first one. Ew. <laughs> Why? Why do I like these? These are gross. Oh my gosh. So we have, <laughs> funny name, Mark Territory. And this card features a previously unpublished painting from the Lost Second series of Bathroom Buddies, the 90s 
Garbage Pail Kids spinoff. That's what it says on the back right there. Um, this one's not that bad. It's pretty relatable if you sleep in the shower a lot. Uh, what was the name? It's Surf Murph. Super cute. Super funny. I know people who look like this. Um, this is also from the second series of Bathroom Buddies in the 90s. And then we also have... <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Why? Uh, toilet Humor. I like the names on these, but these are pretty gross. I am not going to lie. I'm we have five of these little decks right here. There's eight cards in each, so that means 40 cards. And <laughs> just... What would you name this guy? Lunchable Lenny, maybe? I don't know. It does look like he has, like, a Lunchable. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is what the back of the card pack looks like. Just has all that information on it. Again, about tops and the odds. My dog... Ooh keeps barking. This might just be voiceover. Who knows? Um, there's literally nothing out there for him to be barking at, so... Right here on top, yes! Jacked Jack. So, it's the Titanic, I'm assuming, with Rose and Jack, but they're on an iceberg. And the Titanic is sinking in the background, and she has a nice, cozy-looking scarf on. Like, I feel like even if he didn't hold on, if she had given him the scarf, he might have made it. He just might have. Yeah, and it doesn't look like we're going to have much on the back. We have, this is a 90, 90s film sticker right there. Um, <laughs> paged page. Tribal Ted. I'm assuming this has to do with the 90s infatuation with tribal tattoos. That's going to be a fad sticker too. I got a green border card right here. Alan Autopsy. Cute. Cute. Oh my gosh. He's got all sorts of things in there. Soda cans, soda bottles. There's those teeth the chatter teeth that just like <laughs> bottom heavy levi right there with the levi jeans that's gonna be another fad sticker i'm sure oh it's a fashion sticker bladen aiden right there there's something in this the wheels oh my gosh <laughs> the character is literally the wheels right there that is super cute Slammed Sam, which I'm assuming is Pogs. I wasn't, I didn't even know what Pogs were until, um, Graveyard Girl, Bunny, she said something about them. And it's a toy sticker from the 90s. And then we have Immobile, Immobile, right there. And that's a game sticker. That's cute. Little Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know why it looks like he's um, Kamehameha-ing that ring, but I guess he's actually just reaching for it, so. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I wish there was an easier way to open these. I said as I reached for my kitchen hair scissors. You know, Brad Mondo is always going on about how people shouldn't cut their hair with regular scissors, and I'm sitting here cutting my vegetables. And my meat open with hair scissors. Like, what do you say to that, Brad Mondo? <laughs> um, yes! This is Spice Gale. Uh, <laughs> so stupid. It looks like it's got, like, some ginger and spices in the background. <gasps> because it's the Spice Girls. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, this one's called Pin Art. Do you guys, do you guys ever have one of these? Those were so relaxing. They just felt so fun and you could just make stupid little things with them. <laughs> we have 
lopsided link right here. He has way too much in his backpack. Physically incapable of carrying everything that he has in there. I'm going to have to send this one to my dad. <sighs> this is, um, Butt Ned. Beavis and Butthead. Yeah? Anybody? Anybody fan of them? It, there's some silly humor in there. Sneak Kerwin. Sneak Kerwin. Cute. Cute. Like the sneakers for sure. I feel like... Oh! Oh! It's the... Were they Jordans? Air Jordans? I don't know if it was called Air Jordans then, but it's the pumps. You know, I know Michael Jordan probably definitely had them or something or... But yeah. He's pumping up his sneakers right there. We have a Sally Sailor right here, and her hair is tied on the moon, um, which is cute, you know, Sailor Moon, you know. Rancid Rosie, is that like Rosie O'Donnell maybe? It kind of looks like her, and um, cute, we'll find out. It's a TV sticker, yep, probably Rosie, and the last one is another TV sticker, <laughs> Quirky Kirk. Star Wars? No. <laughs> Star Trek? Anybody? Oh my goodness. I am loving these. I was worried, to be honest, that I wasn't going to get any. No explanation needed. Will spray. Like, <laughs> I think it even says fresh. It says fresh right there. So obviously this is the fresh print. Um, <laughs> Bad Barney right there. My goodness. That's going to be a cartoon sticker. <laughs> I love this movie. Do y'all get it? Independence Day. It's another Will reference. Why can't... Will Smith. Okay, I was like, why can't I get the name right? Well, that's a film sticker. And then, this is the special color in here. Sleep Less. And... I want to say that building is one of the Twin Towers, but, or the, it's the Empire State Building. Yeah, oh, and the top fell off. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's poking him in the eye. Oh my gosh, he's got a quadruple espresso right here in the corner. Cute. Ooh, I think this is a gold. It looks gold. Got a gold border. Harry Jerry. Unfortunately, I don't know what it is based on that. It's a TV sticker. Oh! Harry Jerry! It's Seinfeld right there. I didn't really watch it that much. I did watch a lot of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure right here. And it's Taste Ted. They have a Grim Reaper, I, I guess. And I don't know who that is. And then that's the guy from the future. Okay, wait. Uh, so there's a spider on this one. So skip like 20 seconds ahead if you have a phobia of that arachnophobia but this is called aranophobia little black widow right there i don't get this reference either it's a film sticker um leave a comment down below if you know what that is from I hope there's more of these, but this is a 90s cartoon and comics sticker, Chomped Chair, Ch Chucky, yeah, Chomped Chucky right there, and he's getting chomped by some rats, because they're rug rats, is there a rug in this? Like, if they were wearing little rug tunics or something, that'd be cute too. Um, there's one crawling all the way up his mouth. 
That has to be absolutely terrifying for this character. My goodness. Okay, this is the second to last pack. So this is Just Say Neo, and it says Just Say No on the shirt. And so, you know, anyone asks you if you want a red pill or a blue pill, just say no. We have Tickled Elmo. He looks so mad. Are they all just doing that with feathers? They are. Oh my gosh, Elmo has a knife. That's, that's like that one parody song, Big Bird's Got a Gun. Just killing my childhood, man. That's a 90s toy sticker. We have Socked Jock. Like Rock'em Sock'em Boppers, maybe? I don't know. I, yeah, probably because the face is like popped out because the head's always popped up, you know? <laughs> Offensive Orlando of yours. What's in his hands? It's a... I'm going to say it's a Gatorade. This is 90s fad sticker. Maybe because of the lingo or something. You have Pathfinder. Maybe Pathfinder. Or Politics and News sticker. So this must have been one of the Land Rovers for Mars. Okay, this one's cute. It's got like... He's got all of these tattoos. Is it Tattoo Lou? Yeah, Tattoo Lou. And what is this one? I know this is a really expensive card right there where the guy is zipping himself out of his skin. <laughs> and it says bonus on it. And then to puke for right here, which I believe is also another card or a character from a card. And we have two pack, two pack. Right here, 90s with a squirt gun, uh, super soaker or something, and GPK for life, which is Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, <laughs> music and celebrity stickers. Vanilla Van Winkle. Like Ice Ice Baby, I guess. Is that who did that song? Vanilla Ice. There's so many ice. World. <laughs> Word to your mommy, right there. He's wearing an American flag and a chains. It's 90s music and celebrity sticker. So yeah, I'm guessing that's Vanilla Ice. This is a fad sticker. Perioxide. I guess that's probably people were doing the sunning and stuff so much. But... He's literally pouring bleach on his hair. Steam coming off it at the top right there. Oh my goodness. Like, I used to bleach my hair, but never to the point of steam coming off of it. And not with regular bleach. It was always hair bleach. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. So we have. I kind of remember these. I think this is going to be a toy sticker. Maddie balls, like, I remember some stickers from the Dollar Tree that kind of looked like some of these dudes, or chicas, chicks, but it's a 90s toy sticker, yeah, we have, <laughs> we have Munchie Mike right here, Mike Tyson, right, and, uh, He's just got a plate full of ears, all sorts of ears, any ears and every ears you could imagine. He's got them right there. He's eating them on a fork. He's got one in his mouth. I can't. That's a politics and news sticker. Right? That was Mike Tyson, right? I feel like that would have been a celebrity one. Oh, we have Plaid Chad. 
I'm sure this has something to do with the punk scene or something and Vlad being a part of it. By the way, my dog's eating his breakfast right there. So, yeah, this is a fashion sticker. I hope you don't mind the noise if you can hear it. <laughs> it's a big mouth GBK bass right there. Do y'all remember these? bellowing billy oh they even have the movement sensor and the button right there we have battling buffy for buffy the vampire with a green border i see you <laughs> and that's like their signature vampire right there i think except for there's like a mort or something he looks a little different that's a film sticker. We have Judgment Dave right here. This is also going to be a film sticker with um, the Terminator, you know? <laughs> uh, foot fill? I feel like this is also going to be a film sticker, but I don't... This is one of those that I don't really... Oh, it's a video game sticker. That must be like Mortal Kombat or uh, Street Fighter or something. Yeah? I think it's Street Fighter. And this one is 90s Comic. Um, I... almost wish that I understood this one, but this is a 90s cartoon and comic sticker. So, yeah, that's all 43 stickers. So, I've told y'all how my dog really likes to chew cardboard boxes and stuff, right? Well, that box that the box came in, I gave to my dog, and there was paper in it, and I didn't look at it, but they gave me, like, this. And, I don't know, it's got some other stuff in it. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly, like, bonus material, yo. Thanks, underscore, oh. bonus cards. That's what it says. But, yeah, oh my gosh, there's tape on my hand. I'm just gonna put that on my phone. <laughs> so, we have an... Audit TV, and this is um, 2019 as well. There's a Space Chase. Oh my gosh, I like this one a lot, to be honest. Good old Adult Swim, you know. And that's uh, 2019 as well. These are probably all going to be 2019. I got a Blind Melanie. That's a 2019 as well. It's a music and celebrity sticker. I don't, um, oh, there's a Tickled Elmo, I believe. That's the same name as the one I got earlier. Uh, Beanie Barbie? Beanie Baby, I guess. I got, a uh, Harry Jerry, but regular. Oh my gosh, they're sticking together. Gladiator. <laughs> that one's gotta be a... I know that's still a 2019. It's a TV sticker. I don't get it. I thought it was gonna be uh, part of the Olympic series, but it's not. We have a Creative Cameron right here. And, um... It's a film sticker. I don't get this one either, but it's cute. Got a forest chomp right here. I'm not liking those eyes. Super spooky. And his ears are in the chocolate. I don't know why. Ripped Upton. That's the one that's on the box, which is super kind of cool. It's a fashion sticker. And then, uh... Well, this is, this is just cardboard. That's pretty cool. Thank you. I hope that you enjoyed this little 
unboxing trip with me, and I hope to see y'all soon. Bye!